Hello and welcome to the Big Bang. Alright everyone, here is a video on a pretty standard dynamics problem. This one comes from a textbook, although I could not figure out which textbook it came from, but we shall tackle it anyway. The goal here is to calculate the magnitude of the acceleration in the centrifuge at the end of the arm. Let's go ahead and start by reading the question. The tangential acceleration of the centrifuge covet is given by AT, or the tangential acceleration, equals to 0 0.5 times T, the time. And so that tangential acceleration is supposed to be in centimeters per second squared. If the centrifuge starts from rest, determine the total acceleration magnitude of the covet after 10 seconds. Okay, so we want to find the magnitude of the linear acceleration A. They gave us the equation for the tangential acceleration, so we know we will likely use that. The most straightforward way to get this magnitude using the tangential component is through the square root of the normal component squared plus the tangential component squared. We know the radius, which is 8 centimeters, and we know AT is 0 0.5 times T centimeters per second squared. And we want to find the acceleration at 10 seconds. We can easily get the tangential component at 10 seconds. All we need to do is multiply 0 0.5 times 10, and we get 5 centimeters per second squared. But what is the normal component of the acceleration? You may remember that the normal component can be found by dividing the tangential component of the velocity squared by the radius of the curvature. We have the radius of the curvature, just not the tangential component of the velocity. But hey, we do have the tangential component of the acceleration. And as you may recall, we can just go ahead and integrate the acceleration to get the velocity. And from here, everything fits in quite nicely. We integrate at from t equals 0 to t equals t. We know at is 0 0.5 times t, so we can substitute that in. The integration give us, gives us 0 0.25 times t squared centimeters per second. Now we can plug that back into the equation for the normal acceleration component. The numbers simplify out and we end up with the normal acceleration equal to 78 zero, I'm sorry, 78.125 centimeters per second squared. We are not done though. They asked for the linear acceleration magnitude. So we return to that equation from the beginning and substitute in what we know about the normal and tangential acceleration components. Square the components, add them, take the square root, and our final answer ends up being 78.285 centimeter per second squared as the magnitude of the linear acceleration. I hope this was helpful and please let us know if you want us to work out some other problems in the feedback survey in the video description. I will see you next time.